Hey there, artists! Today we will be adding color to our Chris Uphughes Valentines. This is what it should look like when it's done, or at least a little bit like it. What you will need today is your Chris Uphughes drawing that you did before, some markers, water, a little dish of water, a paintbrush, and probably some paper towel. Then we're going to get started with adding color. Remember that you should be working on a flat surface and probably at like a nice table so you have a nice hard surface. In case you spill, you'd be easy to be easy to pick up whatever you might spilled. So let's get started here. I have all of my markers out in front of me. For your colors, you can pick anything you'd like. On the left, I have my warm colors. On the right, I have my cool colors. In the middle, I had some neutrals. So I have my paper towel, my paintbrush, and I also have a small dish of water. So we're going to do a technique that's a mixture between painting and coloring. So we're going to be using markers on our pictures, and then later on, we're going to go over our marker with water to make the color blend. So I'm going to start by outlining the inside area of one of my hearts. So notice that I'm adding the color inside the lines and I'm just going around that edge. I'm not coloring the entire heart in, just a thick line around that edge. I chose to do pink for my first heart. You can use any color you want. I'm also going to go in and add some purple details to my first art, my first heart character. Notice that I'm going very slowly and carefully to make sure that my lines are nice and neat. This red color I'm using is a warm color. The purple that I used was a cool color. Our warm colors are red, yellow, orange, and pink. Our cool colors are purple, green, and blue. So a lot of times valentines are done in reds and pinks, but you know what? You can make your valentine whatever color you want. You're going to see on mine that I use pretty much every color of the rainbow. Next, I'm going to go for a cool color. So this color I'm using is turquoise, which is kind of a mixture between blue and green. It is mostly blue, though. It is a cool color. I wanted to give this cool heart a really cool color. I imagine that he'd be like a really cool guy. Last week, we talked about how... Chris Uphughes likes to do these heart characters with different cartoon faces. He does a style of art called pop art. So pop art usually uses um, things that are popular in culture, like cartoons. So these are cartoon style hearts. Now you can see I sped my video up a little bit. I'm going to go through on all of my hearts and outline the insides of the heart with my colors. Notice how I'm using thick lines. These are called bold lines. So my line isn't really thin, it's nice and thick, which is what we call bold. When you are using your markers, you'll notice that if you use the point of that marker, you're going to get a skinny line. But if you twist your marker just a little bit and use the edge of the marker, you're going to get a thicker line. So you can practice doing that on your hearts. Now here I'm going to go for the water. So I dip my paintbrush into my water dish. I'm making sure it's nice and wet. And now I'm going around the edge of that marker and you can see that the water is making the marker into kind of a paint. 
So by adding water to my marker, it is making the ink from the marker bleed and create a pigment. So a pigment is a color. So that red is now getting wet with my paintbrush and turning into a pink. And we can see that this makes a really cool watercolor effect. Notice that I keep going back and dipping my brush back into the water every time it starts to get a little dry. You'll want your paintbrush to be pretty wet for this. The more wet it is, the more color you're going to get. So next we're going to go for blue. Before when I switched from my red heart to my blue heart, you can see that I used my water and a paper towel to clean my brush off before starting on a new color. That is something I'd probably recommend doing too, otherwise your colors might bleed together and mix when you might not want them to. Also remember that I sped this video up. So I'm really not going this fast in real life, so you can take your time and do this very carefully and slowly. And when you're doing your hearts, you can add some details, like I gave this heart some purple cheeks, my heart in the center has some fun polka dots. So you guys can add any details you want, you can mix whatever colors you want, you can see that this orange heart has blue eyes. Blue and orange are complementary colors, which means that they are opposites of each other on the color wheel. So that is what we call complementary colors. They are opposites. So orange is a warm color and blue is a cool color. We can sometimes think of warm colors like being like fire, red, orange, yellow are like fire, and a cool color might be like the ocean or the forest, like blue, green, and purple. So now I'm really speeding things up here with my camera and going through and adding more details. In my background, I added this kind of rainbow effect which I think looks cute and then I went through and did some swirls. Happy creating artists!